Today we're going to try to make the Asteroids game. And I think we're going to do this video in two or three parts. Uh, but basically the Asteroid games had like a triangle that flies around and it can shoot out and blast up the asteroids. So we're going to learn how to do that. So let's get ready. So here's my version of the game so far. I don't know that we'll get that far today, but right now my um, triangle doesn't fly around. All it does is shoot bullets. It's a triangle. And we're going to learn something new so that we can learn how to do bullets. Right now, it just shoots bullets and doesn't fly. So let's figure out how to do it. Yeah, we're going to paint a new sprite. Okay. Okay, do you guys see this little um, circle with the crosshairs in it there uh -huh. on the screen? Do you guys know what that means? No. Nope. Any guesses? Uh, the center of the page. This, yeah, it's actually when you draw your object, that's the center of the object. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our line tool and I'm going to make, I'm going to try and draw a triangle with, it's not going to be very big and it's going to be with the center of that crosshair is sort of at the center of my triangle. Okay. And I'm just going to do my best. It doesn't have to be perfect. And luckily, if we draw it in the wrong place, we can always use the arrow tool to move it afterwards. So it's not really a big deal. And you can paint your um, rocket ship whatever color you want. Doesn't matter. Ooh, I'm gonna fill it in blue. Cool. Does that look pretty good? All right, so we're good. We've drawn it and the crosshairs is more or less in the center. Okay, so that's our first sprite. I'm gonna go back and click code. We're gonna do our steering a little differently in this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, forever loop, or I'm going to say, sorry, first, before I do my forever loop, I'm going to say uh, events when flag is pressed, we're going to set a forever loop. And what we're going to do, we want our, our rocket ship to be able to smoothly rotate left and right. So instead of doing when button presses, we're going to create a forever loop. And in our forever loop, we're always, always, always going to be checking to see if the button is being held down. So I need to go and say, uh, if. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, now sensing. Now sensing. Yeah. And then we're going to go under key pre space pressed, and we'll drag that there. So we'll start with left arrow. Okay, so when the left arrow is pressed, we're going to make it. Let's go back under motion. motion. We're going to have it turn 15 degrees counterclockwise. Now I'm going to change that from 15 degrees to three degrees because I think 15 degrees is probably too much, but we can always change these numbers later on in the game. Okay, the next thing we need to check for is if the right arrow is being pressed. So it's much the same. You tell me what to do, boys. Grab the if and put it in the forever loop, but not inside of the other if. Yep. And then what? And then go into sensing. Yep. And grab the key pressed. Okay. And then you change that to right arrow. Mm hmm. And then you go back into motion and do the one that's turning to the right. Yeah, that's everything. turning clockwise. Yeah. Technically, it's turning to the right too, but. And then three. Mm -hmm. and then change to three. And then there we go. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's see if our spaceship will rotate. If you push your flag, you oh. should be able to. And see how smooth that is? If we had the done, use the key press events, we'd have to like keep pressing it to make it turn, whereas we don't have to do that now. Look, Daddy. All right, so I have a question for you guys. When I have my spaceship shoot a blaster, we want it to come from the tip of the arrow and blast away. So if I'm rotating up, we want the arrow to blast, we want the blaster to blast up. And if I'm facing down, we want the blaster to blast down. So what I need to do is I need to create three variables that keep track of where my spaceship is and where it's pointing. So that when we create our blaster, it blasts off in the right direction. Does that make sense? So we're gonna make three variables. I'm going to go into my variables area. I'm going to say make a variable. We're going to call the first one. This is our ship. So S-H-I-P. We'll call it ship X because every uh, sprite has an X position. So Liam, 
Liam had a good question. Is it for all sprites or just a sprite? It's for all sprites because we're going to create a laser sprite. And that laser sprite needs to know what our X position is. And that's why we're creating this variable. So we're going to say ship X is the name of our variable. Oh, and it's question. for all sprites. And then we're going to say, okay. What? And then what we do is we need to set, this is after our if, we're going to set, every time through the loop, we're going to set ship x to our x position, okay? So you can see right away, mine says 36, but yours will say whatever your ship's x position is. 36, we're so, actually, the, what, how are we the exact same position? I don't know. We need to know the ship's Y position also. So, how do we do that? Do the exact same thing we just did, but we have to create a new one instead. So, okay, so I go back to variables. And you have to make one that's called ship Y. Yeah, so make a new variable, ship Y, for all sprites, S-H-I-P, ship Y. And then we say, okay. Y. And then for all sprites? For all sprites. Okay. And so then what are we going to do here? Set my variable. Set my variable. And then we go into motion and select the X position. Mm -hmm. Do we want to set my variable or do but we want no. to set ship Y? Ship Y. Yeah, ship Y and then put the Y position. Yeah. So put Y position or X position? What do you think? Y position? Yes. Yep. There's oh, one more variable. So we ro we our, um, our ship rotates and we want our blaster to come out of the tip of our triangle rocket ship. So what we need to do is go down and we need to create one more variable. And this one is gonna be called um, blaster. ship, no, it, we, it's again, it's the ship rotation. And it's for all sprites, and we'll say, okay. Okay, done. Then, again, we're going to set my variable, but we'll change that from my variable to ship rotation. And then we'll go click on motion. We scroll down and find, oh, it's actually called direction, but ship rotation is fine. So we'll drag direction. Okay. 102? You're minus 20. So watch this. As you rotate your ship, you can see its rotation change in the that's variables cool. up there. Okay? That's really cool. That that's is really cool. Really Alright, so we're done making our ship. Our next job is to create a laser beam. So I'm going to create a new sprite that's our laser beam. So I'm going to click on my cat. Cat. Or sorry, click on the choose a sprite button, but we're going to go up here and paint sprite. one. Paint. Okay. I'm, I'm going to use my rectangle tool. So then I'm going to choose this. I'm going to change my fill color. Uh, I'm going to make it yellow for me because I want my lasers to be yellow. But you can make yours blue or I'm going to make my red. lasers cool like Green black. like Star Wars. Red. There you go. Okay. Red. Oh my gosh, like Darth Vader ship. Yeah. And then we'll make sure our outline is black. Although it doesn't, that doesn't matter so much. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here. And remember, this crosshairs means our center again. I'm going to draw it just a bit ahead of that, just to the right of that, because I want it to come out of my ship. Okay? Uh, and don't worry about it being perfect. But remember, you can use this arrow. If you put it in the wrong place or where you feel it's not the right place, you can use that arrow to just drag it around afterwards. Okay? So just draw it wherever and then use the arrow to drag it where you think it should be. What happened? I think it should go. Draw it again. Wait, I'll just just draw it and be like, yeah, that looks good. So yeah. use the arrow to, to move it. Yeah, okay. That's I great. Look, I think this looks good. I think it looks good too. There we go. Okay. So now we've drawn our laser beam. Let's Wait, go to fun. code. Okay. Okay, so right now we don't have any code in our laser beam. We're gonna go to the sprite one one more time, our rocket ship, because we're gonna make it so that whenever we hit our space bar our laser blasts. So here we go. Here's how we do that. We're gonna go under, this is a new thing we're about to learn. We're gonna go under controls. Controls. And uh, we're gonna say, or sorry, not controls, we're gonna go under events. Events. 
Okay. And we're going to drag out the when the space key is pressed. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, do this cool. one. Okay. And we're going to say when the space key is pressed, we're going to scroll down under control until we find a block that says create clone of myself. We're going to drag that over huh? and clip it on. Create but we're not going to create a clone of myself. We're going to create a clone of Sprite 2, because Sprite 2 is our laser. Clones are a way that we can have an object appear in our Mine computer program <laughs> for a little bit and then disappear. We create a clone of Sprite 2. So now what we need to do is set up an initial condition for our laser beam and then build the code for what it should do whenever we hit the space bar. We need it to blast out a laser. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to click on Sprite 2, which is my laser beam. Yep. I'm going to go under events and I'm going to say when the flag is pressed. When the flag is pressed. The first thing we want to do is hide it when the thing starts because we don't need our laser beam until our ship fires. So we're going to hide it. So then what we're going to do under controls, we're going to say when I start as a clone. Okay. When I start, when as, I start as a clone. This is going to be like the Clone Wars. I can just see it. So the first thing we're going to have it do is appear because we want to see it, right? It's hidden. So it's when I start as a clone, we'll say show. show. That's under looks. The next show, thing we need it to do show, show, show. is we need our laser beam to come out of the spaceship. So we're going to move it to the right place. So we're going to go to under motion and we'll yeah. say go to X, Y. And we'll drag that out underneath show and this is where we're going to use our variables so as our ship flies around now our ship doesn't fly around yet but it will so we're going to say under variables mm -hmm. go to ship x go to wait where ship is it y go to, go to x y it's under motion mm -hmm. now we need our laser also not to just be in the right spot but okay. to be pointing in the right direction so we need it to be pointing in the right direction. So then, again, we're going to go under motion. We'll, we're going to find the block that says point in direction. And right now it says point in direction 90. We're going to drag that just below our XY. Point in direction 90. Right now it says 90, so we'll drag that under XY. And then we'll go back to our variables. We want to point in the same direction as our ship. So I, we're going to grab the variable that we called ship rotation, and we'll drag it into point in direction. Ship rotation. Okay. Ship rotation. So if I hit my flag, my laser should disappear. I should be able to rotate my ship. Rotate. And then whenever I, look at that. Oh nice, it works. Look at all these clones. I could make like a neat drawing. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool, eh? Look at that. Look daddy. It's like a spirogra spirograph all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, look what I'm doing. I know. Okay. So we want our laser beam to go a certain distance and then disappear. So we're going to go under controls and we're going to get a repeat 10 times block. Repeat what? Over 10, a repeat 10 block. times block. I've never used this block before. Yeah. So this block repeats for as many times as you tell it to. So we're going to have it repeat for 10 times. Oh. When it's repeating, we'll have our laser beam move. So I'm going to go under motion. And I'm going to have my laser beam move 10 steps. So I'm going to go under motion and have it move 10 steps. And after it moves 10 steps, you know what I'm going to do? Hi. I'm going to, nope, I'm going to delete the clone. Huh? We don't need it anymore. We don't need all these clones hanging out, using up memory on our computer. So we're going to delete the clone. So it creates an instance of the clone. It moves 10 steps in the, from the direction and in the rotation. And then it deletes itself. Cool, eh? Daddy, look at this. This is so cool. I know, so. Oh, well, it's not shooting. Cool, eh? Well, so now well, we have well, a spaceship well, 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 that shoots well, well, laser beams. Okay, let's do one more thing. Are you ready? Yep. Let's get our ship to move forward. So, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go back here into Sprite 1. Okay? Then we're going to do this. We're going to say whoops, whoops, if whoops, whoops. we'll pick our if block up and we'll say if 
And then is that supposed to be in the other forever loop? It's still in our forever loop, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it'll only have, uh, it, yeah. Otherwise, if you put it, well, you can't put it below the forever loop because the forever loop happens forever, right? So then we're going to say if, we'll use the up arrow on our keyboard. So I'll go on to your uh, sensing. I'll say if key space pressed, and I'm going to change what? that to the oh. up arrow. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move, we'll go under motion. We'll make our ship move and maybe we'll say three steps. Okay. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. Let's test it out. Let's push stop. Let's yes, push it flag. Yes, it works. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, what we could do too is make some fire blast out of the back. Should we have some fire blast out of the back? Yeah. Okay. That would be awesome. You guys ready? Yeah. We're gonna push costumes. Yeah, but look, wait, look at this. Yeah. So push costumes. Okay. Costume. We're gonna duplicate costume one by right clicking duplicate. and choosing duplicate. And then all I'm gonna do back here, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush tool. And make sure this is costume two. Yeah, in costume two, I'm gonna maybe do some orange fire. And don't worry about too much what it looks like, just draw some fire blasting out the back there. You could maybe do a mix of that and i'm gonna do a little red in there too how would you do that daddy i just use the paintbrush tool so then i'm gonna go back to my code and i'm gonna go under looks and i'm gonna say switch costume two costume two See, under under here wait where is it say switch cost switch switch, oh. switch costume to costume two and then i just need a switch costume to costume one at the start of my forever loop so it knows if i'm not pressing that key it needs to be costume one. So if we're not pressing the key, it's costume one. If we are pressing the cop, it, we get our rocket out of the back. Oh, Ted, look, ready? And of course you could add some sweet, sweet sounds. So if I wanted a sweet, sweet sound, mm -hmm. I could click on mm -hmm. sounds and I could say- Record sound. Record a sound and I could record making some cool sounds here. So here we go. Maybe I'll say new sound. Oh, I wonder if it's got some sounds we could use. Maybe. Or maybe I could record a new one. Where's, how do you record again? There's my rocket sound. And instead of recording one, I'll call it a rocket. And then I'm gonna make another one that is a blaster sound. Pew, 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 pew. And I'll call that blaster. So I'm actually going to say start sound blaster. And then I'm going to say start sound. And I'll change that to Guys, rocket. Well, that's going to get annoying very quickly. But there you go. That's how you add some sound. Okay. All right. Next time, we're going to add amazing asteroids that explode into our game. Okay, let's see what this is. Thank you for checking out part one of making an asteroid game. Uh, remember to check out part two uh, to make the rest of the game. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>